my name is Yalmikia Atmans. I am someone who does hair for a living, and I'm a hair loss practitioner, and I'm the founder of a Baltimore Girl Story. My children motivates me to do the things that I have accomplished. Um, my community has also um, helped me and uh, my clients, the people who I service every day in my community and in my salon also help me with those accomplishments. So I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I'm a hair loss practitioner, I am the founder of A Baltimore Girl Story, I am a mother, I am an ex-wife, I am someone who loves to inspire and motivate and encourage people that I hold close to my heart and people that uh, that's around me on a daily basis and even strangers. So I believe one day I will be a motivational speaker because I have a passion to see other people do good. Um, I have a passion for people in general, so it's really no limit to what I do. It feels good um, because I am running a business and my children are able to witness what I'm doing. So it's not like I'm just doing this for myself. Like this whole thing that I'm doing just in my, in my life in general, my children are watching me. So I believe it's a great thing. Um, you definitely have to have balance between operating a business and being a, being a single mom because being a mom um, comes first. So being a mother first, then operating my business comes second. Home always comes first. And because I'm able to operate my business, my children are watching me, I believe as they become older, they're going to also be able to uh, do the same thing that they see me doing. They're going to believe that if my mother can do this, then I can definitely do it. And that's what I, I instill in my, in my children as well. Everything that I do separates me from everyone else. Um, my faith um, immobilizes me. Um, I'm able to do things that a lot of people don't have the faith to do. Um, another thing that separates me from other people, I'm going to say stylists, is that um, you don't have too many beauty professionals that's a licensed cosmetologist and a hair loss practitioner. So I take my craft very serious. That's something else that separates me from that group of people. Being a single mother, what separates me from other single mothers, um, if I had to choose, I would definitely say... Um, Having a strong faith-based foundation is what separates me from other mothers because a lot of stuff I've been through uh, personally, um, that's what kept me um, going. That's what helped me to become creative and produce the things that I produced was having that strong faith-based foundation in my personal life. I would have to say me going through a divorce um, and being uh, experiencing infidelity in my marriage and um, having to go through that, that would, that would be one of the uh, most hurtful um, roadblocks and hurdles that I've been through, which ain't do nothing but inspired me to... Um, you know, uh, become productive. Inspire, encourage, motivate, uplift. Like, those are my goals overall. So every platform that I'm on, whether it's me being behind the chair or me being a mother or being that, that motivational speaker that's trying to uplift a group of people, on all three of those settings, my goals are all the same. So I just want to inspire my children. I want to uplift them and then motivate them. I want to do the same for my clients whenever they're coming in to get a service. 
It's not about just them getting their hair done. It's about the experience and it's about me sewing into them. And then for my group of um, young people that I um, mentor, that I work with, that's the same goal for them too. I wanna see them become successful. I wanna see them do great things. So everything that I'm doing, all my goals is you know, um, connected. They all the same for each platform. And I think that's my overall goal. Honestly, I don't believe no one on this earth is restricted to one thing. I don't, me personally, I don't like being put in a box. As you all know and see, I do a lot. Um, so I don't believe that we were created well, I don't believe I was created to be mediocre. I don't believe that I was created to just be, just walk this one, um, you know, walk. I believe I was created to walk many walks and do many things and wear many hats. So, again, I just don't like being put in a box. So I don't like to be categorized or labeled as just this beautician or this hairstylist. Like, that's not all that I am or all that I do. A day in my life, I would say I wake up, I get my day started by practicing these rituals, prayer, meditation, and um, yoga. I do those three things, um, wash my face, brush my teeth, all that stuff. I get my son, my kids prepared for school, and um, after I send them to school, I go for a walk. And um, I relax, I work, I read books. I love to read books. Um, spending time alone. I spend a lot of time alone. That's called solitude. I practice solitude. Um, and I love to service my clients. I try to stay balanced and um, keep it simple. So that's a day in my shoes. <laughs> A Baltimore Girl Story is a platform that I started three years ago with, um, it was just a thought. I was so inspired to create something for women, not just, you know, teenagers or not just young girls, little girls. I, cre I wanted to create something for females. So basically it's a platform for females to share their stories. Um, no matter if it's a good or a bad story, um, to help other women, um, other females to um, overcome or live theirs better, or if it's a good story, to empower, inspire, and motivate um, other females to do whatever it is that they feel that they want to do. So it's basically a platform of storytelling. Females telling their stories, whether it's good or bad. If it's bad, we want you to bring your story out of hiding and share it. Don't be ashamed. And if it's good, we want to celebrate you. We want to help other women become celebrated by sharing your story. So that's what a Baltimore Girl story is. It's not a platform for just teenagers or young girls. It's a platform for just females in general. <laughs>